Hello and welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing and helping me build the channel and be able to bring you even more content. Today's video is a how-to showing you how you can create an automated flight, capture a photo set needed to create a 3D map of an area using a Mavic Air 2 and an app called Copterus. Copterus is a waypoint and autonomous flight creation app for many DJI drones, including the Mavic Air, Air 2, Pro and Pro series, as well as many other DJI drones, which are detailed in the app text. It's available to purchase in the App Store around £4.99, and once downloaded, you're a few steps away from creating the flight needed to capture photos to create 3D maps. Once you have opened the app, the first thing you need to do is locate the area you want to film your mission. This is easy to do by simply dragging, dropping and zooming on the map until you find the location you want to film. Once you've located the flight area and completed the usual CA and ATC checks, you are now ready to plan your mission. Click the triple line icon at the bottom of the screen and then select New Mission. Drag the map to centre it and then click Create here. Select Survey Mission and you'll see a box appears with four corners and plus icons on each side. To create your survey area, simply click any corner or the plus icons and drag them to your desired location. You can do this for any of the locations or any of the corners, and you will see that additional icons are added when you do this, which allow you to fine tune the area to be mapped. Once you are happy with your survey area, click the tick icon in the bottom right hand corner. A summary of the flight details is shown in the top center of the screen, and in the top left hand corner is where you can select the altitude and type of flight. Once you have selected your flight altitude, you can then set the survey type. This is either grid or double grid. Finally, using the sliders, you can set the photograph overlap for front and side. This sets the amount of overlap between the photos the drone will take when it's flying. The higher the overlap, the higher the number of photos the drone will take and potentially the longer the flight will be. At this point, you can also choose if you want the photos to be JPEG or in RAW format. Clicking the 3D icon in the top right hand corner, you can then scroll around the image as a 3D map to see the area you'll be filming and what you'll be capturing. The information window at the top of the screen will show you various attributes for your flight. Here you can see the length of time it takes, how many photographs and how many batteries it will need. Flights that need more than one battery are possible as you can pause the flight, return to home and then fly back up and pick up where you left off. Once you've finished planning, click close. To go back into your mission, click the three line icon at the bottom of the screen and select mission list. Here you will see all the missions that you've created and it will allow you to go into each one to look at. The one we're looking at today is new mission. If you would prefer to view your mission as a map rather than a satellite image, this can be done by clicking the layer icon in the top right hand corner. It will change from a satellite image to a map and then click it to change it back. You can also review the weather forecast in the area by clicking the weather icon to show you the forecast for the next few hours and the next day. Just click the icon again to remove it. Now we've created a mission, let's fly it with the DJI Mavic Air 2. In Copterus, select your mission and once the drone is switched on and connected, you will see the fly option appear at the bottom of the screen. When you are ready to go, click fly the app will then ask you what you'd like the drone to do once the mission is finished. Go home, hover or land. I use go home so the drone returns to the place it took off from and lands. Here you can also set what the drone does should it lose signal. Go home or continue the mission. I choose continue the mission because as you've set above, once the mission is finished the drone will come home anyway. Once you're happy, slide the slider to fly the drone. The drone will now go off and fly the waypoints you set in the mission, taking photographs at regular intervals depending on the overlap settings. Once the mission is finished, the drone will do what you set it to do, in my case return to home. When the drone has returned to home and is almost ready to land, the app asks you to confirm this so you can check your surroundings and make sure it will land on solid ground. This is the end of the mission. To retrieve your photos, you can either go into the DJI Fly app or take them directly from the SD card onto your PC or Mac. 
I'm planning to do a new video on how you can create a 3D map using the web ODM software, but click the link at the top of the screen now to view one I made earlier to see the process involved in creating the map. Thank you for watching, I hope you found the video useful. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel.